today we're going to paint together. Um, we're going to teach each other how to paint waterfalls. So um, I have an assistant because I have a little trouble holding the brush with my hand. So um, she she's learning too. So uh, I hope you really, really have fun because that's what painting's about. So here we go. Thanks, Bunny. Okay, I'll get started now. Ouch, ouch, ouch. First of all, we're going to have fun. And today I want to show you um, bunnies and my special way of um, how to paint waterfalls. Waterfalls. Okay? So, first of all, it's nice to work um, with an easel. I don't have one here. So let's get started and have some fun with this. Um, I don't like to rush, but it is a video, so here we go. Basically, um, sponges are awesome, okay? You can use sponges or brushes, all sorts of different brushes. Um, things like this that you can uh, find in stores, your, your um, parents can help you find, or your friends, and uh, let's get started. This is fun. I can't wait. I started already. I'm just going to show you quickly. I had to let. I want you to let this dry. Um, take a, a a sponge with blue on it and just go across the top. And don't worry. Uh, you don't need a lot of paint because the white marks that are left behind actually remind us of clouds and and they'll help us later when we when we build clouds. Okay. Um, so this is dry. That's why I had to do it beforehand. And then I used a black sponge with uh, black paint on it. And I just went across. I put a bit more on the bottom because I really wanted the darkness because the darkness brings out the lightness for the, for the waterfalls. So we're going to start. Um, basically, I'm taking my white paint and I'm putting it on the brush. Okay? And I'm just going to put a bit more on here. I'm going to take this part of the sponge and I'm going to just, just tap, just at the line here. I'm going to just go very gently, put it on there. And then, see, see the line I made? Well, I'm going to take that and I'm going to, I'm going to think about water and go, shh. There you go, you already have your waterfall started. And in painting, it's okay. There's no mistakes, because if you if you see something you don't like, you just we don't want to do too much uh, work on the waterfalls because they, they look much more natural if we don't work on them too hard, but we're gonna ah oh, that's it. That side's done for now. We can always go back and fix things. That's the great part of painting. So um, we're putting more. White paint on the simple sponge and come over to this side and do the same thing. See? Oh, I got a little bit too much paint, but that's okay. So I start like that and, and then I just think of water and I wiggle it a tad and I, and I, and I go shush. And, and uh, it takes a bit of practice, but a really fun whoosh, whoosh thing to do. I'm just going to leave them like that right now. I might add a bit more in here, but, but later on we're going to learn together how to put rocks in. It's fun. I just do this for fun. Uh, just, uh, just to have fun. That's what it's all about. Again, I've got the sponge and uh, I'm going to bring some water down to the bottom. Here, later we'll have some nice splashes. You, you can do it like that, tap, tap, like lines like that. Oh, look. Look how water's starting to come to life, life, come to life here. Whew. That's okay when we make mistakes talking with anything. So I'm just sticking that there for now. We're going to, you can do so many things with, this, with the bottom. We're going to let that dry. And, and we're going to go right up to the sky right now and throw a cloud in there. Just with the sponge again. This is fun. This is so relaxing. So many different ways to do, do clouds too. This is my way. So 
I just think, I think of the cloud and how fluffy and oh, and I just oh, put it in there and oh, whoosh. And, and maybe there's a trinkle over here and and, and, and one's, one's coming down, whoosh, like that, and then a little bit more here. And uh, let's, let's add some more paint. Yep. However much paint you want to use. And, and just just a few trinklers down here. So again, so many different ways. And I'm going to use this funny brush. This this brush is called a fan brush. And, and I'm just going to play around with it however I want, because clouds form however they want, just like trees. Trees do whatever they want. And to me, there's uh, with painting, I like to do it. How, however I want. I'm going to take this brush right here to fluff these up a bit. Just, just look. Look at what I'm doing. Just uh, fluff, fluff them, fluff them. Go wherever you want, clouds. Go on. And then I'm just going to, like I just so lightly, go over them, pull them up a bit. And again, you know, you can go back to those later on. Uh, it's, it's whatever you want. This is, this is a fun about painting. So my waterfalls are, are drying, I'm going to be adding things to those later also, but I just want to show you quickly how easy it is to throw a tree in there. This is, this is just, there's like so many wonderful ways to paint. I'm a very messy painter, so I'm just going to take a, a brush and go just up into the air, into the clouds. Hey, okay, I'm going to make few lots, few different lines. I'm going to try this guy now. I try all sorts of different things. You know, um, I'm just, just tapping right now. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe just, whew, look at that. See that? Look. That's it. See the gaps? I don't care. I'll get to them later. That's the most important thing. I'll throw, I'll throw in a few in here. Um, just want you, we're starting trees, okay? In case you wonder what I'm doing, and uh, again, this is fun for kids, so. Okay. And I might want to start. I start with the dark colors and add all sorts of other colors to them. This is going to be a big tree. Okay, I'm just going on right up there. Right up into the clouds. And I'm going to bring that down. We're going to make some... Uh, Hunker this down to some land in a bit, okay? So, see, you're saying, wow, how can trees be sitting on water like that? You're right. So I'm going to add a bit of, I'm going to add a bit of land there. So those, those trees have uh, somewhere to hunker down to. So again, because I'm doing video, I'm kind of just going to give you just a, a, a brief idea. Just practice with this um, idea here. Let's finish this idea here. I have to learn to slow down when I speak. I tend to speak very fast at times. Well, here comes uh, another branch. And it's growing over here right into the clouds. Look at it. And then over here. And then I got... This tree is just, it's just booming. I'm doing the branches first. Over here, I'm going to do leaf trees. And here are the ones with the pine needles, the coniferous trees that we see at Christmas time. Okay, so. Let me just fix this so you can see the clouds. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize that you weren't looking at the clouds. And this tripod is also going to cave in anytime soon, so I really got to move quick today. What can we do now? Let's um, take this funny fan bar, uh, brush. I to remember, I got to slow down on my words. And I'm going to put some paint on it, and I'm, gonna, I'm just doing um, some, some little caps at the top. Because the, the, it's, you know, that's where it's still growing. So it's sm usually smaller up there, but trees do whatever they want. 
and I'm just going to go back and forth like this. Just tap, 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 tap. Gentle, and there's no, no, uh, per, like, do it however you want to do it. Trees are trees. Trees grow all sorts of different ways, and, and that's a great thing, and the branches are never solid, and you can always go back if, uh, if you're not happy with your painting. Um, another thing is the brush I am using is, uh, is sort of old, and, and so it's not really doing what I want it to do here, but I think you get the idea, what I'm trying to show you there. Okay, I'm going to put, quickly put them in there. Let's give this tree some, some pine needles. Okay. Like I say, and we're going to have to give it some, some land. I'm going to switch brushes for sure for that one. Just always, you know, I start off with dark paints. You know, there's all, and, and, and then I add to it, okay? I'll give you a little idea, a little example. So basically, I'm going to put so quickly some, some grass, like, look at that, like, just do it, uh, whatever you feel in a painting, and add colors as you go along. Um, look, another tree that needs branches, and that's way too much paint, but that's okay. I might even use my finger for that one. That's all right. See, I'm just going to hide my mistake. Well, it's not a mistake. It's a fun little thing here. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, the more you practice, the better you get at it. You know, the Fun. This brush here is so so many ways and mix colors and and add colors and and here I'm just taking this this um, brush right here and I'm I'm just I, I'm just tapping on uh, these leaves, okay. And um, again I'm going to be going back and and doing more with this tree. Um, putting more leaves on it, putting putting um, brightness where I want to feel brightness on it, and darkness where I want to feel uh, darkness on this tree. So um, I'm going to use this guy here, and and uh, for now, just to add a little bit of uh, brightness into this uh, tree, and and here, see see how quickly I'm going into the the branch and just tap everywhere because you know you're gonna you're gonna take your time you're not gonna rush like what I'm doing today I just want to show you one one more thing for today is how to do a, a splash my my favorite okay of course I can't find the brush I, I wanted to show you oh this will do okay well I'll just use this this fan brush again and you see how the water's just coming down right there, and it's flowing, and, and and it's just oh boy, like just beautiful water. So uh, you know, I, I'm taking a, a little bit of a a blue, a color blue, or any color that you want, okay? And, and um, I'll just just uh, wipe a bit off on the sponge because I have too much, and and go. Whoosh, Splashes, see? The splashes of the water, maybe, maybe a few little drops here. And, uh, okay. And, and you see here, we can even, we can even add, uh, some land here. Some, because, just say there was a rock here, and, uh, and, and add to that, and start adding colors to it, and, and, uh, put some trees up on it. Um, uh, somehow, this cute little tree ended up in, in the middle of these waterfalls. Uh, put color to the tree. Um, simple little thing. Play around. That's what I do. I mean, I'm I'm learning. I'm um, teaching myself just just because I love painting. Uh, so um, that's it for now. Uh, next time I'm going to try uh, to paint rocks.